You might have noticed that Amazon hardcover is a new option when you are self-publishing your titles with Amazon KDP, but you might not know how to resize your existing paperback to a hardcover. And this video will show you how to offer your book in a new format by using this button right here, create hardcover. Hello and welcome to or back to Passive Income Templates. My name is Laura and by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to create a hardback version of a paperback book that you've already published or are in the process of publishing. For the sake of this video, let's use a five times eight paperback notebook with 24 black and white pages as an example. This is the minimum number of pages that you can create for this size and paper type. And I'm going with this as an example for several reasons. One of them being that this is the minimum one of them being that the minimum number of pages required for a hardback is slightly higher than what is required for a paperback. So the minimum number of pages that you must have in a hardcover book is 75, according to Amazon, or 76 if you want to just round up and get to an even number. And the second reason is that we will need to change the interior page size from a 5 by 8 book um, to a 5.5 by 8.5 book and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So in the example that I'm showing you today, this is just the um, Amazon set trim size, bleed and margins page. It's really useful. I highly recommend book bookmarking this so that you can come back to looking at the exact page dimensions that you need with and without bleed. So as I said, we're working with a five by eight paperback notebook um, without bleed and that's the size that I've got there. And I would need to change this to a 5.5 by 8.5 interior page document. Now, of course, if you were working with a 5 by 8 um, interior with bleed, you would need to change your document to the coordinating size with bleed. So that would be these measurements right here that you see on the screen. So just something to keep in mind when you are converting your interior files. Um, this isn't necessary in all cases, but this is the case for 5.5 by 8 books because they do need to be changed to 5.5 by 8.5 for hardcover. So over here in Canva, you can see this is my 24 page document, um, just a simple lined interior that I've created for the purposes of this video. And what I want to do is change this to the new size for the hardcover interior. So as you can see, it's five by eight inches and I would need to resize that. This is a feature that's available with Canva Pro. If you do not have it, I highly recommend upgrading to the version of Pro just for this feature alone. It's very, very handy. Um, and if you have not yet tried it, you can get a 30 day free trial via the link to Canva in the description. So here I'm going to input 5.5 by 8.5 and then just click copy and resize. And that is going to go ahead and generate a brand new document for me that's going to be suitable for my hardback book. So just so that things are nice and clear, I'm just going to rename this so I don't get confused. Um, so this is my hardcover. And as you see here, I'm going to need to up the number of minimum pages. So I'm just going to change that in my title there just so that I can see. And as you can see, when I come and look at the size, it's now a 5.5 by 8.5 document. So like I said, we need to up the number of pages. So I'm just going to bump this up to 76. Bear with me a moment. Okay, so now that we have the minimum number of pages for a hard back interior. And as usual, I'm just going to go to download and select print PDF, PDF print, and download those files. 
Now, when it comes to creating your hardback book cover, Amazon KDP prints case laminate, which means that there's going to be no dust jacket and the design goes straight onto the cover itself. And as, is, as usual, you have glossy and matte options to choose from. So, of course, we're going to have to make some adjustments to the cover because the template looks a little bit different than this paperback that we're used to seeing. So I just wanted to give you a sense of what that looks like. This is the paperback template. And now we're going to generate a hardcover template to suit this new format of the book that we're offering. So what I'm going to do is go over to this really handy tool. You can use it for um, hardcover or paperback books and it'll save you a lot of calculations. It's just the print cover calculator and templates tool from Kindle Direct Publishing. So if you Google that, you'll find this really handy tool. So let's plug in our details here. We're creating a hardcover with black and white interior, uh, white paper, page turn, standard left to right, uh, inches, and interior size. You can see these are the options that you're currently limited to when it comes to creating your hardback books. So I'm going to select 5.5 by 8.5 inches and enter the page count. So we've got 76 and I'm going to calculate that. So this looks immediately overwhelming, but all you really need to know is that you need this width and you need the height to plug these numbers into Canva to get your sizing just right. So I'm gonna plug those numbers in and I will be right back. I just wanted to say that we also have the option to download a template as before, like just like the way that you generate your paperback covers. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that just so we have a frame of reference for creating in Canva. And as you can see, we've got a spine area that of course will be a little bit thicker because of the way that this book is published. We've got um, these spine safe areas. So just something to be mindful of when you're creating your cover. You may or may not want this area to be included in your cover or not, or just kind of use this part for the main portion of your design. Um, so those are just something to consider. There's, there's a couple more elements to contend with, but it's not any more complicated. Just uploaded this template into Canva, and this is just something that I like to do to make sure that my dimensions are as correct as they possibly can be. You can see it snaps perfectly into that um, size of the document, and I just kind of like to use this, um, either I'll size it down or just kind of leave it be or kind of make it transparent, oops, or make it transparent to give me a sense of where things are um, when I'm designing my cover. But like I said, in this case, we've already got a cover designed. I'm going to switch back over to my paperback cover. So we will be able to just copy and paste these elements. Um, if you're interested, what I used here was the this Modern Leaves pattern abstract. It's just a tiling pattern and I just repeated it um, one after the other and then just grouped all of these elements so that we have a really nice seamless looking pattern. So I'm going to copy this. It's not going to take the background with me, but I'm going to copy this. into my hardcover file. As you can see, the sizing is just about right, um, but we're gonna wanna adjust so that the placement of everything is where it should be. And I just wanna make sure that I've got the right background color. So I'm copying this purple over. Oops, too many tabs open. adding in this purple color. And as you can see, this journal element is not quite in the right place, so we're going to fix that just a moment. I just locked these background elements so they're not gonna move when I am adjusting the other parts of this design. So this is where I like to have this 
uh, template within plain view on this document just so that I can get a sense of where everything will be when it's lined up properly. So this is what I was saying earlier um, when it comes to the placement of where you want to put things. This is a little bit of a spine safe area so your design may or may not be printed on there depending on what you decide to do with your design. So I'm just going to size that there and my hardcover is ready to go. So I'm going to download that and next we're going to pop into the upload panel on Amazon KDP. So I'm going to go ahead and press this create hardcover button. This is just a draft so this is just kind of a test file that I've put together, but you'll see that all of your information instantly becomes ported over. So I've got in my test description and if I had these keywords, these keyword boxes filled in, all of that uh, would be automatically uh, ported over from there and you can see my categories come along as well. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it as is and I just want to show you what it looks like when you are uploading your files. So the process is exactly the same and I'm just going to click, um, you know, assign me a ISBN and of course you want to s select um, the paper type and size that fits your document. So again, I've done no bleed. Let's go with a nice matte cover and then I'm going to upload my manuscript and my cover and I will be right back. And while these files are just preparing to preview, I just wanted to mention, as expected, it is more costly to create a hardcover book with Amazon KDP, but this might be a really nice premium option for you to offer, especially if you are creating low content books that are keepsakes or guest books or products that need to be more durable in terms of wear and tear than the average paperback book. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I don't think all of your books need to be necessarily hardback, but again, it might be something that will really speak to your customers and their needs when it comes to creating low and no content books. And just like that, your hardback book is ready for review. So as we can see, we can flip through our pages. We've got 76 here and everything looks good to go. And I'm not going to submit this journal, but for the sake of it, I'm just going to hit approve and just to show you the details that come up. So you can see that our printing cost is considerably higher than the paperback option. And if I was to go to save and continue, um, you can kind of see the information here. There's fewer markets that you're able to offer your paperback book within. So when it comes to something like a 76 page hardback book, um, let's see, something like $15.99 will give you something like a $2.79 royalty. So that just gives you some of the idea of what you can create and let me know if this is useful to you, if you plan on playing around with this hardback option already, or if you think this will be useful for converting your best-selling paperback titles where applicable, of course. And I did exactly this for one of my top-selling paperback books, as you might have seen in my September 2021 income report. So it's already working well, and of course I will be continuing to experiment around with hardcover. Let me know if you'd like to see more content on creating your own hardcover books with Amazon KDP. If you'd like to see more niche ideas specifically for this kind of book or other kinds of videos at all that will be useful to you, please let me know in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips and templates for making passive income with print on demand. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.